What are you laughing for? I, who, don't who you remember the, that? Who are the Bee Gees? Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. It's, it's an old Bee Gees song. And they use it, at least they used to, in, in CPR training. That's I, how I know. What I want you to do is I want you to just keep singing that song while I do my weather. So we have a little background music. Oh, oh no. No, I'm not going to. I got to. Brent Hunsaker to sing on live television. This is great. Okay. It'll be the last time. <laughs> I promise. Don't, uh, don't wander off, awesome. folks. Okay. It worked. Yes, I got him. <laughs> All right. Folks, uh, take, a look, take a look at this time-lapse video. We're not just seeing the Mile High Marina up here in McCall. I want you to note one thing. You see this? That is the ice that's starting to melt right along the shoreline there at the Mile High Marina. So we're starting to see that process where the sun angles are getting higher, the temperatures are getting warmer, and the ice is starting to recede on the lake. So. It's a very popular spot. We love going up there in the summertime. And as you could tell, it is certainly starting to happen. But still some clouds cruising in. Look at the temperature readings we had today. 73 degrees. What's the average for this time of the year? The average is 54 degrees. So that's 19 degrees above the average for this date. Tomorrow we're going down to 67 degrees. A cold front's on the way. That'll result in temperatures dropping down to 60 degrees on Thursday. Back up to 67 degrees on Friday, back up to 70 degrees on Saturday. So pretty much through the weekend, temperatures are going to remain just above the average for this time of the year. So that's kind of nice. And take a look. Here comes the Doppler radar showing a scattering of showers developing to the north end of the west of the Treasure Valley. This is the leading edge of the front that's going to be inching its way toward our direction here tomorrow afternoon. The high pressure that has caused the really nice warm Warm temperature readings is finally showing signs of moving out. That's why our temperatures were nearly 20 degrees above average for this time of the year. It is now going to be replaced by a cooler pocket of air coming in from the northwest associated with a weak low. That weak low is going to generate the cold front. That's the front that's going to cause the scattering of showers for us here in the Treasure Valley. Best chance is probably going to be tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening and maybe a few showers early, early Thursday morning, but then it dries out by Thursday afternoon. So here we go, tomorrow morning, there you can see the cloud canopy, but should be still dry in the morning. Then here comes the best chance of showers. It's probably gonna be late afternoon into the evening hours, early Thursday right there. Then by Thursday afternoon, we're gonna see a little more sunshine developing and it should be pretty nice on Friday. So here's my seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. High temperatures tomorrow, 67. Here comes the potential for showers later in the day, maybe a couple of showers early Thursday. Partly cloudy skies looks nice on Friday. I think Saturday for the first part of the day is going to be okay, but let's say a chance of showers late Saturday and a scattering of showers possible on Sunday, drying out on Monday with more shower activity on Tuesday. But each one of these systems that moves on in will be valley rain makers. The mountains will also see some rain showers Maybe a little snow at the highest peaks, but a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. Few showers on Thursday, some scattered showers again on Saturday, and it's just going to be a, a, shall we say, an up and down, never ending wave of it's dry, it's warm, now it's cool, and it's wet. It's spring it's time. It's spring, yeah. It's springtime. That's what we do in spring. So, how's that song going? Uh, very good. I'm singing it to myself okay. right now.